Hey guys, Rob out here. I'm always in hotwater.com out on Hilton Head Island uh, with something very, very special today. Um, and just uh, as a preliminary walkthrough, this boat is about to go in for detail and um, personal items as seen not included. But we wanted to just give you uh, a quick look at this beautiful 1989 Mako 262. Now, uh, just so you know the history on this boat as a 1989 hull, it basically uh, had about 12 to 13 years where the hull just sat with no engines and wasn't even used. Um, so, you know, it's more of a 99, uh, 2000 model than anything else. It was, it's been powered with uh, uh, 2000 model Mercury Optimax 200 direct fuel injected. Uh, under 500 hours on the boat is uh, the general rule of thumb on this particular model. My only recommendation on the outside of the hull would be possibly at the end of the season getting the bottom pane updated. Now remember, this is a preliminary video. We wanted to just get this vessel up on the site. I know you guys like to see the vessels all nice and pretty, um, you know, but we'll show you the exact condition is before they get up on it and get it cleaned. And let me just take a quick walk around this side. You know, basically we could just use a new compound um, on the outside of the hull. As you guys can see, I have nothing really to report. If I take a quick look right here, you look like you got a little bit of cosmetic uh, stress uh, up on the starboard side, up near the bow of the boat. But that's about it. Um, the vessel is solid all the way through. There's no soft spots. Uh, let's just take a quick look right here. We got a little bit chippy and looks like there's been a little bit of a repair done in the past. That's what happens when we don't get the fenders out in time. Three blade stainless steel props. And just to guys give you guys a quick look on the low hours now, it's somewhere between four and 500 hours on the engines. Uh, I know the uh, lineage of the vessel, and when it was sold uh, over a year ago, it had about 300 hours on it. Um, so we're just going to assume 400, but I'll say under 500 just to be safe. Uh, you know, the seller is telling me that uh, the boat has less hours than that. Uh, just so you guys can see, the services have been completely up to date on these engines. He, uh, very fuel efficient, very low oil burn, and runs like a bat out of hell out on the water. Um, and we'll have the specs up per RPMs up on the website. And uh, it just had new Lenko trim tabs installed uh, in the last year. We have the receipts for all the work that's been done on this vessel, which hails with about a 200 gallon tank. New fuel lines, new steering cables, just so you guys can see. See exactly what I'm looking at. And there are documented receipts for everything. Overall, solid boat, pretty clean. Um, nothing to indicate as far as soft spots go. The cushions are in fair to good condition. Although I'm seeing here, I don't know if this cushion was actually designed. This, this piece here doesn't look like it exists. And that cushion which has just been put up front. Plenty of storage. Up on the center console, cushions are in fair to good condition. The T-top, excellent condition. And something that I really like about these 262 Makos, when you need to work on the center console or turn your batteries on, this pops up and easy access to all the wiring. You guys can see the new cables right there. Um, you know, you got a perco switch for the batteries. Fish boxes, obviously I put the uh, cowlings on uh, you know, top of the storage here, but you guys can see that in pictures. I think what we got here is I think you have, uh, here's going to be your oil fill. Uh, he said that he filled the oil at the beginning of the season and it's barely even dented it. So um, just a clean, neat, good, solid boat, 1989 Mako 262 with 2,200 Optimaxes on it, low hours. All serviced, all up to date. This is a new GPS map 740S. It also hails with a stereo system, a working VHF, new Lenko trim tabs, and that will pretty much sum it up. Just a good, good Mako. Uh, like I said, 1989. Um, sat for many years in storage as just a hull without the engines and was uh, repowered in. Uh, in the early 2000s and uh, this vessel also does not come with a trailer so just to let you guys know we have easy shot to get to the water for sea trial if you want to put the vessel on the contract 
and what we will do is we'll get pictures out on the water we will run it out and video uh, that event but for right now as it sits hopefully this helps you guys out leaning post looks great so overall Rob out here at I'm always in hotwater.com wishing you guys a great and safe boating day on this beautiful 1989 Mako 2000 model 200 horsepower Optimax direct fuel injected V6 engines and this is a good one wishing you a great and safe boating day in your salt life